it changed my life. It became a lifetime journey, it became obsession. How you take flour, water, salt, and turn that into something really good. Food is experience, food is the memories, and memories are very powerful. My name is Vito Rastasnauskas. People call me V, Chef V. I'm an owner of uh, Citizen Pie Pizzeria. Citizen Pie kind of uh, was born to represent pizza revolution. Our mission was change the world the way people think uh, about the pizza. Just throwing some wood in. You need to make sure this fire is hot. Woo! It's hot. I grew up in Lithuania. I remember very well the first time I had pizza and became obsessed about it. It was only one pizzeria at that time in my hometown, Kolnas, which was second largest city in Lithuania. I still remember pizza with the half hard boiled egg and pickles on it. His approach at food is a little more unconventional than most chefs you'll meet, which I think makes him an unbelievable chef. There's no step-by-step -step recipe book. The hydration in the air, the activity of bacteria in the air, everything, we take everything into account, and that's how he applies not just the pizza, but with the rest of his food. My dough is very simple, flour, water, salt, but it also is very complicated because it needs to be adapted almost every day. We add salt to the water, gives the specific mineral but also slows down fermentation and gives elasticity to the dough. We feed uh, our dough with a sourdough starter um, and uh, we feed it every day. It's alive and it smells really good. We add half of the flour and then we add our sourdough culture and then we add another half of flour. We mix, we let it uh, rest for a few hours and then we make a dough balls. He uh, has a reputation as a very exacting chef who, uh, when he uh, attempts to do something, he's going to perfect it. I had a great childhood riding bicycles and playing outside and eating grandma's food. My mom was in a food business. It was the kind of regular life, except we couldn't leave the Soviet Union. When we got independence, times were really hard, so my mom is a full supporter for my family, basically. She got sick and all of a sudden, one day we lost her. I decided that I cannot, I cannot sleep in this house. I need to change something. When I came here, I was a guy with nothing. $700 in my pocket and just a suitcase. Things didn't go the way we planned. We had some immigration issues. One day, all of a sudden, uh, we got arrested and thrown in an immigration jail, and um, that, was, that was very, very, very scary. My wife chose to go to the law school and help me with all my immigration issues, which ended up working out very well. It meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to us, too. While I was dating my wife, she was taking me to all these different restaurants and eating the foods, the ones I couldn't afford to buy when, when I just first came here. And I, I was introduced to the new flavors. I've never had Indian food, Mexican food, Cajun food, regional American food. All that melting pot was bubbling in my head. The good thing about dining out in Cleveland is there's just so much diversity. It's a, a wonderful melting pot that's just so visual in terms of food. He had spent around 10 years perfecting the dough. One day we just thought, hey, you know, why don't we do this thing? Why don't we open a pizza shop and just, you know, let me focus on one thing and do one thing great. In terms of artisan style pizza, I think everybody would agree that uh, that Citizen Pie uh, is, is easily you know, one of the best in, in town. As a chef, you're always searching for some kind of combination of the flavors. What works, what does not work. 
you walk through the farmer's market, you see the, the butcher is making, curing or smoking sausage. You get inspired through the life through many different things. For make salami, Croatian stuff, cooling, smoked pork loin, dry beef. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Every pizza at the menu has some kind of story behind it. Our Americano pizza was inspired by my uh, restaurant, which I own. We blend toasted pistachio with the cream and Parmesan cheese. Uh, that's the uh, base for our pizza, it's very good Italian sausage, uh, Calabrian chilies for spice. I designed this burger I love to eat at the restaurant. I had to transfer basically all that flavor into the pizza, so that's how my mushroom pizzas was born. We take porcini mushrooms and we hydrate them with uh, some water and soy sauce. Uh, we blend them with the Parmesan cheese and that goes on the bottom of our pie get stopped with the brie cheese, fresh mushrooms, the local smoked bacon, red onions. Pizza is very personal and we grow up eating pizza, bad pizza, good pizza, mediocre pizza. We still search and trying to make that perfect pizza 